Hey guys, what's going on? It's Russell. Thought I'd do a quick update on the small account challenge that Michelle's been running in SidekickTraders.com. So if you're not a member of Sidekick Traders, then I've put a link in the description below. Go and click it. There's a two-week free trial. Come and check it out. Because one of the things that's going really, really, really well at the moment is Michelle's small account challenge, which basically she started with $500 and every other day we're taking a trade using options to try and grow that into thousands of dollars. And Michelle's done that already before. I think she said last year she took uh, 500 to 5,000 um, over the course of six months or something, which might not be as crazy as some of these people you see doing lottos and stuff. Where you you know you could take that five hundred bucks, put it on one trade, and get it to five thousand, but really the chances of that are really low, and you're more likely just to lose that five hundred, and then lose the next five hundred that you recharge the account with. So these challenges are all over, but really Michelle's is the best one I've ever been part of. So it's been really fun so far. She does slow but steady, but by slow I mean you're still talking like twenty thirty percent gains. Uh, per trade, sometimes 10%. Uh, her win rate is really high. It's like two losses in 25 trades or something ridiculous. Average gain is about 10%. I'll show you some of the results in a minute. This is the channel she's posting in. So if you're already inside Kick Traders, then you go to Ms. Small Account and you'll see like threads appear for each different trade that, that she's taken. We talk about it in the Ms. Chat. And this has been going on since the start of September, so this is near the end of October. So I think about nearly pushing seven weeks, I think. So seven weeks, and I've been trying to take the trades when I can, and I wanted to give a quick update. So let me show you my track record so far. So these are the number of trades, so I haven't put the date, I probably should. Uh, these are 12 trades that I've taken over the last month or so. I think about six weeks. These are the tickers. We've been buying weekly contracts on them and usually only holding them for a day or so. So you can see I started with $500 and it's now, I've added $411 to this. That's actually 911 that should say. There we go. So <clears throat> 500 bucks, just taking one trade every other day. It's now 911. So this is the the power so you're making small gains right but you're not risking a lot and sure you know you might be able to take this 500 like you said and do some lot of trade and double it straight away but honestly it's not a sustainable plan i don't know anybody who actually manages to sustain that usually they'll double it and then lose it all and then recharge the account like i said with another 500 make some excuse to their followers and you know kind of not the best plan this is what i'm really liking about michelle's trading is it's slow and steady um, but slow as in i've doubled this account in six weeks barely doing anything right 12 trades is really nothing and everybody else is having a great time with it too so i know one of the guys josh has said he's up 30 percent in a, just a couple of trades uh, he's taken a couple of the big winners recently you can see i've only had one losing trade amd uh, and the rest have been winners. Netflix was the biggest winner yet. Uh, and that was today. That was hairy though. That was definitely a, a scary trade. So I've started to size up. So when you see these numbers here. Uh, this one here. I've started to actually go much bigger position size. Um, but recording the profits proportionally. So if that makes sense. So I actually tripled my position size for Netflix. That I was using. So it's kind of, I hope this makes sense, but I made 480 or something on Netflix, but I've divided by three because it was, I've tripled my position size. So while I'm not trading with the original 500, uh, I'm still recording the profits as you would see on a small account challenge, if that makes sense. So like, for example, if you look at today's Tesla, uh, sorry, not Tesla, Netflix, this is hard to see. I think I copied and pasted it into here. Yeah. So these were the contracts we did. I hope you can see that. Sometimes the YouTube screen's really small, so let me just try and show you. So these were the calls that we did today on, on Netflix. So this week, it's the 26th, so it's the three days to go until expiration, so uh, pretty close. $700 calls, 
and if we go along here, this is the profit that I made on these calls. But this was with three times my position size, like I said, so I had to divide by three to get this result. And the reason for that is I, up until here, trade 11, I was just using 500 bucks, but it's been such a nice little uh, steady win, you know, steady winning rate here that I've gone, I've decided to trade more, right, basically. So uh, I, there's no point in making 30 bucks if you can make 100 bucks, right? or 155 when you can make 480 or 468 or whatever it was so although i'm recording this as a small account challenge in the next update just be aware that i'm actually using bigger positions and then scaling it to normalize it for a small account it's not cheating i promise <laughs> um, i just want to make more money which i think we all do right um yeah so Somebody asked me today if it's too late to join the small account challenge. That's a good question. Uh, it's never too late. So Michelle is just going to keep going with this as far as I can tell. At least I hope so. <laughs> There's no end goal. So we should hit that $1,000 mark um, or doubling the account this week. I would be surprised if we don't, but fingers crossed. But it's not going to stop there, right? So it's not 500 to 1,000. It's 500 to however much we can get it to for the rest of the... <laughs> The time that we're, we're working on this right so i don't think michelle has any plans to stop and as soon as you hit the thousand you can just buy a little, few more contracts you know if you're starting now you can start with a thousand dollars instead of 500 uh, or five thousand dollars if you've got a, a stronger stomach for these things or a bigger account uh, we're just calling it a small account challenge because i mean that's what it is it started you know officially started with 500 bucks for michelle and michelle is somewhere up around that as well so this is her screenshot and that was today so she um her account's at 749 i think uh, account net worth yeah i'm not sure what it's at now because there's trade settling and things like that but um she's really transparent it's awesome uh, with this stuff just given all the updates that you need really and each thread pops up like this, so you can see this is the Netflix thread. Um, there was an Apple one as well. I didn't get Apple, I don't think it did. No. Um, I should probably look and see if there's an entry for that. <laughs> oh, kind of. So what I do is when the alerts come out, when Michelle says that she's starting to watch something, she gives lots of notice. So like yesterday she was watching Netflix. So you don't have this rush to get in so I'll pull up the chart and see if I'm comfortable with the entry as well and if I'm not I'll wait and see if I can get a better price and do my own due diligence on it um, I mean sometimes I'm gonna do better and it'll I'll get a dip and then get in sometimes I'll do worse uh, it really depends um, but I, I always like to look at what I'm gonna do before before jumping into something so um, but I know a lot of people have been doing really well uh, on this challenge in general so yeah so if you want to join us like come in talk to us michelle's really friendly i like to think i'm friendly <laughs> marion's friendly and um, yeah we can get you started with small account trading trading options all right guys until next time cheers